Welcome, guys. Today, I want to talk about the new Vikendi Reborn and if or not, if it's been a success, basically, because I feel like this has been not the success I was hoping for. Honestly, I've been a little bit disappointed and I want to talk about why that is. So as we start, I'm actually just going to queue up for a game like that. Vikendi map, I'm going to queue up for that. Uh, right now, I'm playing. It's morning in eu so obviously that means fewer players are playing but that's not the point the point is that this here is going to take a long time to get into a game very long time and i'm going to be playing against bots which we will see so the reason for this and the reason why this is especially bad right now is because you are splitting up the queues into two you have random map queue and then you have the featured vikendi map queue you are doubling the amount of queues you have, but you're not doubling the amount of players you have. So as you're diluting your player base into these queues, everything slows down. This also means that the normal map queue, the random map queue is super slow, even when it used to be pretty fast. Basically meaning that when I play the game, typically between 11 a.m. and let's say 5 p.m., the queues are really, really slow. I can't play Vikendi, that's out of the question by now, but it's still there. That's one major issue. Uh, there's a solution to this, which we'll get into. As you notice, we're still in the queue. All right, so Vikendi, it's a very beautiful map. I made a video about it. I made the, the cinematic video and you know, I, it's already one of my favorite videos. I, I love the, map, the way the map looks. It's just so beautiful, so, so, visually appealing um when you play it though uh i noticed that it feels like it's really a too big of a map going from six by six to eight by eight i feel like it hurt the map it didn't really make it better yeah it's it's bigger it's um more epic if you will but this is one of those situations where size doesn't matter well at least bigger doesn't matter because I would have preferred six by six. And also you have a situation where in solos, especially it's super difficult to get a car. The vehicle spawns are, well, they seem to be rather low. It seems to me to be pretty difficult to get a car. And while you're in squad or duo, that it's not a big of an issue as if you're playing solo, because in squad or duo, you can ride together. In solo, everybody needs a car. So when I play this map in solo, I often find myself either struggling to get a vehicle or just running for super long and, and uh, really getting so frustrated that sometimes I even just leave and play a new game. So that's not good. Another thing is that the loot seems rather weird, like unbalanced. Often when I land, the first thing I get is a DMR. I often struggle to find the basics and sometimes a first aid is like, looking for gold i i don't know it, it just it just feels like that loot is a little bit off also the way oh we're finally getting into the queue and yeah there you go uh completely bot queue uh, you see the map is starting uh the countdown is starting with very few players joined so it's gonna just fill up right now with bots this these are just all of these are just bots basically i'm probably like five real players in here right now um but yeah when people play this map, when you play with real players, everybody plays extremely defensively. That's another problem. And the reason that is a problem is because it makes the map a little bit too competitive for, I think, a lot of players. Uh, obviously, uh, when people play defensively, it's, it's uh, because they are getting used to the map. They're learning the map. They don't know how it functions, right? You, you don't know where to go. And if you don't really know where to go, it's often better to just chill where you are and just wait until until you need to go and then move somewhere. Which also means that if you're out there exploring, moving around, you'll constantly get attacked by people who are just sitting in buildings. And you know, it's fine. People can play exactly the way they want to. However, on other maps, people are more playful. They're more experimentative. Uh, so they'll move around a lot more and typically uh, in solos, at least, you get a lot more dynamic and fun engagements than you do in Vikendi. Also in Vikendi, let's just land somewhere here, so I'll show you. If we just land somewhere, often it's just super long sight lines you got. That means that you can see players really far away. They often easily uh, appear in front of you because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very wide background and not everybody is wearing 
a white snow ghillie suit. But, but yeah, a lot of the areas are very open and flat. And add that up with the obvious, very often issue of finding a vehicle. This is actually one right here. But that is just, that just makes for very frustrating engagements very often. Because you're just constantly getting attacked uh, from like everywhere. I mean, the map is gorgeous. Like we can see that right now, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm, I'm definitely not, <laughs> there's nothing bad to say about how, how the map looks. So as we, look at that, look at that. This is the bot landing in front of me. Like that, this, this, this is what we're dealing with. It feels like super pointless to play under those circumstances. Also right here, we might be getting bears soon. Yeah, yeah. They might actually be adding bears that will be in these places here. <laughs> but yeah. So what's the point of playing like this? We're not gonna get any loot. We're just gonna drive around as I talk. And as we drive around, let's let's talk a little bit about what they can do to fix this issue with the queues. Of course, the feature map idea is, I guess it's not bad because you make a new map or you update a map, you want people to enjoy it. However, uh, there's not enough players for this to work, okay? So you obviously can't do that. That means in order to get people to play your map, what you have to do then is that either you have to make the queues conditional. That means that only during prime time uh, will you be able to get... Wow, this is loud. <laughs> Let's turn down a little bit. Only during prime time will you be able to get into the feature map queue. That means it simply doesn't appear unless there's enough players for the games to realistically start. That's one condition. Another thing they need to do is that outside of that time, because, I mean, you still kind of want people to play the map. It's new. You want people to experience it. What you then do is that you simply increase the odds of getting it. So outside, let's say right now, there should only be random map. I, you shouldn't be able to manually queue up for this. I mean, this is pointless. Like, what's even the point of this? You should simply have like, I don't know, double, maybe 40% chance of getting the new map, the new weekendy for a limited period. That means maybe within the first month or so, or even higher, perhaps, you should have, let's say, let's just say 40% chance of getting into weekendy. That means people will experience it more often without running into this issue right here. And you see the few players who did queue up for this game, like I'm one of them right now, we could have queued into a random map pool instead, making those queues more alive, have less bots, start quicker, right? That would obviously be better and more healthy for the game. Because what do people do when the game doesn't start? What do people do when it starts only with bots? Well, a lot of people are probably expecting to get a PvP experience. And when they're not getting that, they'll probably just play something else. And when they probably just play something else, then it gets even worse. And it's a vicious circle. It just amplifies, self-amplifies, and it gets worse and worse and worse, All right? But if you look at the map, it has some really good features. Um, there's some nice features on the map. For example, you have the cable car. The cable car is a really cool feature. I mean, it's super fun to use. It's I, I really like it. Um, Kind of difficult to get some action from the cable car because of what I talked about earlier. A lot of people play defensively, so it's difficult to get some action from these cable cars. But when you do, it's actually really fun. Although it's difficult to hit shots, but it's, it's a fun feature. I, I really do like it. So that's definitely a thumbs up. And also these um, these camps out here, uh, you have them up here uh, with the alarms. You know, you have some extra good loot. You open some crates and you get there's some alarm ringing. I like the idea, you know, it's it's cool. I, I appreciate that they're trying new things. Overall, the map is all right, I think. These issues with the loot can be easily fixed. That's simply adjusting the loot spawn. The issues that I experience with the vehicles, that's easily fixable too. You simply just add more vehicles. So, there's something to work with here. Another thing we don't have right now, which well, I feel kind of debated about it, is that we don't have the tornadoes. <laughs> the tornadoes are not here yet. And well, I, they're gonna come next patch, right? But still, I was expecting them to be here now. And I, and I think a lot of people were. So 
Uh, that's a bit of a debate by PUBG there. Uh, but yeah. Something that, I don't know, I don't know how the tornadoes will affect the game. Maybe it's gonna be really game-changing and thereby make the map more interesting. I don't know. Tornadoes will probably be more like, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be very loud. You will have really poor visibility and probably, I guess you're gonna take some damage. I mean, I, you're probably gonna freeze or whatever if you're, if you're out in the frozen winter, winter NATO. <laughs> yeah, snow NATO. Wasn't there also a bot here? Oh yeah. So right now, uh, just to do a status here, we're on eight kills. I haven't looted anything. I just got into a car and started driving around. And I think this is a good example of how pointless this is. Why you shouldn't give this kind of experience to your players. This has nothing to do with PUBG, guys. This has nothing to do with PUBG. It's, it's better to not give this experience to your players and then have them play, I don't know, Sadok, than have them play this map and then get, give them this experience, right? That's what, really what I think. I mean, this is, I think this is a really, really bad thing for the game. And it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, people gonna leave because of this, okay? That's what I think. But we also have to look at some data, guys. I, we're talking, is the new map also a success? Well, I guess so. And I guess this is why PUBG, do, they don't change. This is why they keep doing this. Because if you look at the stats on Steam charts, well, the player player count went up. Yeah, more players are playing, and it, that it appears as as this worked. Um, I do think that those numbers that we're seeing here, and I'll put it up here uh, on the screen in a moment after this bot is dead, right here. These numbers and these increases in player count, they're they, they are not an EU. I mean, this is I don't experience more players there. Maybe a few, but like. It's not something you notice. Asia is a super big region and there's so many people playing there. That is obviously where uh, the masses, um, uh, mass player base have increased, right? Not here. So EU is not the only problem. You also have this issue in North America and on the NA servers, and it's an even bigger problem there. Just, just see these reactions here on PUBG's maintenance update, where a lot of creators, including myself, called out PUBG for not fixing the queue issue. Good night. As you can see from these comments, the, 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 the feedback is clear. It's super clear. So you can ask yourself, why aren't they doing anything? And I think that's a really interesting question. I have a hard time answering it. I really have, you can only really speculate. Is it that they made a plan uh, that Bikendi will be featured mapping EU and NA or Oceania, also a server that's struggling with this? Um, is it that, is it that, that they just said this will run for, well, until the next patch and that's it. And then they stick with this without adapting to the reality that we're seeing in the game right now. Maybe, maybe. I mean, that's probably it. But like I said, I think that's a big issue. You have to constantly feel your game and constantly adjust these things accordingly. Because if you don't do that, then this happens. And the worst thing is, guys, we've seen this before. This was the same problem when Tego got released. Same issue. And that, that was a really, really, really tough time. Uh, especially for me uh, as a creator, uh, because I, you know, <laughs> playing this game is basically my job. And I did that, well, I do that during the day. So I very much experienced this in a different way than if you're just you know, just chilling and you got the day off, you want to play during the day, right? But everyone is experiencing this problem. Yeah, I do have 10 kills. Playing with basically one hand and just driving with no gear. Yeah. I think, I think we go back to the circle now. Let's just, let's just see how many kills we can get here. Playing like this. So we're obviously going to need a new vehicle. Well, let's just take this one over here, shall we? Uh, one reason that you're seeing a lot of eagles right now and that it's easy to find one is quite simply just because no one is taking them. Bots don't drive, so, yeah. All right, what do we got here? Oh, hello there. Yeah, bots don't drive, so 
it's it's kind of easy to find a car that no one else uh, needed here. And also what we're seeing right now is also the reason why you cannot rely on stats anymore, really. I mean, someone has a really high KD ratio, okay. Got a lot of kills and few deaths. You really don't know if this is what they've been doing. Because if this is what they've been doing, that that KD, I'm sorry, doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like, the, 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 it's not a reflection of skill, guys. So make sure you don't over-focus on the KD ratio. And we also have a bot running out here, right? So that's we're going to be on 13 kills in a sec. Yeah. 13 kills. There you go. Sick. So I think it's also obvious why from, let's say, from my personal uh, selfish perspective here, why this is not viable for me as a streamer or, or a creator. <laughs> what am I going to create here? What, what, what kind of good content will I make on a stream from this, right? It's simply not... It's, it's, it simply doesn't work. So, of course, that's why on a completely personal level, why a situation like this is very frustrating. Yeah. But yeah, I, re I really don't see how how it can be difficult to make the conditional queue setup. Like, I, I don't get it. Oh, there's a vehicle. Oh, there's, a guy. there's actually a player over there. So I don't really get that. Like, how can it be so hard to just have, let's say from 6 p.m. going forward? Like, like I, I don't know. If you know, they know the prime time. They can see the, how, many play, how many people are playing the game. In the prime time, open up for the, open the feature map queue. That's it. In the prime time, open the feature map queue. When it's not prime time, close it. Put Vikendi in random map. Increase the chances of getting it. Of course, this should only be for a limited time while the map is still fresh, right? So for a month or so, this, we should have this system. Max, max, because even in prime time, you could have problems here, I think. Even in prime time, the queues will be slower because again, since you're not doubling your player base, if you're then doubling your queues, well, things will slow down. You will have slower queues. It's quite simple. And also, I think it's important that that they also don't just lock that in. If they, if they agree with that solution and they want to implement it, it shouldn't be locked in. It should be something that is evaluated every single week, every single maintenance. They need to look at these numbers, evaluate, and then adjust accordingly, right? Every single, every single maintenance. And if suddenly, let's say they have a, a, few, a bit fewer players than they expected, they need to readjust how this is, put up a message in the game or and on socials and saying, hey guys, we adjusted the queues because, th because of this. Make sure that your players are constantly having the best possible player experience, right? See, I could have gotten that kill out there on that bot if I actually looted some healing, but I didn't loot a single thing. <laughs> on 15 kills right now, of course. If you get into one of these games and you really want to PvP, you got to wait until the very end where the bots are mostly all, all dead. There's one right here. And, and you get to the last five players that actually bothered playing until this point. At that point, you can get PvP. Of course, much easier to get a chicken dinner like this. But what does that chicken dinner really mean? How, how, how much value does it have? Probably not a lot, right? Probably not a lot. Oh, wow. 18 kills. Okay. 18 kills, no gear. Uh, 19 kills, no gear. And, and I've never gotten hit. This damage is from the blue. Uh, 19 kills. Can we go 20? Can we get to 20 kills? 
Let's try. I'm even gonna take some blue for this. We, we, we're doing this now. We're getting the 20 kills. We're getting the 20 kills. There we go. 20 kills, guys. No gear. Barely, barely paying attention to what's going on in the game. That is the experience you're giving to so many players when you split the queues like this. And that's why you shouldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? It's not like we need like some big, <laughs> big experiment here. We can all see this, that this is not PUBG, right? This is, you would, no one would ever fall in love with a game like this. I mean, okay, I guess maybe <laughs> somebody would, but. Okay, so, um, shockingly, at 21 kills and uh, only three players left. So at this point, we might actually have real players. And the thing is, um, I'm not sure if I have enough fuel to actually uh, keep driving. For some strange reason, I'm not being killed. But I also think that that could have something to do with... No offense, guys, but no good player is still here. There is no, no skilled player that will be putting up with this. Okay? The only people who are here right now still, if you're a player, are probably people who are... Either they got stuck here and they're like, whatever, I'll just play it. Or you have people who are just really new and, and, and confused. Maybe they don't even know they're playing against bots. Who knows? Because no good player would ever want to play this. This, is, this brings no enjoyment, no satisfying whatsoever to a player who has experience and has some skills in an FPS game. Right? It's, it's just completely pointless, right? I don't even know what's going on there. Why, why, why are there grenades? Okay, Putin. Right, actually there were two players in there. So uh, Putin will have to leave at some point. We gotta conserve fuel actually. That's a little bit annoying. But we know there's one player called Putin. <laughs> uh, and, oh, there's another bot here. So we're not gonna be in a one versus one against the player. Because this bot is going down, flat. So, one versus one. 22 kills without any interaction with the player. Actually, I saw two players drive at some point that I just ignored. And now you got one player. One player who's in this compound over here. Uh, I have no healing. I don't have full health. I have no gear. I have no protection. I have no weapons. I only have this car, which is less than, you know, it's about 20% fuel. And we know there's a player over here who's using a, a, a bison or bison, whatever you want to call it. So, well, he has to leave the compound. Does he have a car? I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, he's right here. So apparently he, he actually left. We're probably not gonna win this. <laughs> Almost won it. He actually got hit. But you see, put in here, he won the game. And that's it, guys. That is the experience. We didn't win it. Almost. But 22 kills. So is Vikendi a success? It doesn't feel like one. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time.